a pointless stack has finally made its way back around again with an iron banner. And as of recently, there has been a lot of talk about how amazing the bow is compared to other legendaries. With Iron Banner limited time frame, is the following worth getting and is the God War worth investing in? Let's find out. A point the stack has been newly reprised since its last introduction, and as well as being a precision frame bow that focuses more on damage the most, it also comes with a new Arden trait called Wildcard, which is just a budget mini Telesto. However, the biggest bonus of using the weapon now is its random perk rolls that you can easily farm, as long as you have the engram to do so. Outside of the common perks you would see on most bows such as No Distraction, Pugless, Dragonfly and Swashbuckler, we do have some popular traits that everyone tends to use. For example, within combo 1 is Pugless and Swashbuckler, which is a very common trait that you see on most weapons these days. Not only will you be getting a damage bonus via a swashbuckler effect, which in turn works out well for the both frame, but this in turn will be granting users mainly energy back via Pugless effect as well. Combining the two creates a perfect setup for those who enjoy using melee base builds a lot. In fact, something like this will probably fit best with anything warlock based, as they tend to have a lot of ranged melee base abilities. Combo 2 is Pugless and Dragonfly. Now, you may be saying that this combo sounds dumb, but actually this combo is very unique. Basically, with our wildcard origin trait, upon getting a kill with our boom, this will grant users energy towards a melee via Pugless effect. From here though, these sub munitions created from our weapon kill will also count as a Pugless perk effect. So each time our sub munitions get a kill, that's 3 melee energy back go to you. This allows any melee base builds to easily create and gather melee energy with little effort. Once again, great for any range based melee builds, but most importantly, you may want to try this with the Strand Warlock as an example. Combo 3 is Archer's Tempo and Precision Instrument, and of course this is probably one of the best combos to get if you want a bow designed for constant damage on the go. A faster draw time is always a plus for bows that have slow draw time like the following, while Precision Instrument is a perk that's gonna be active non-stop, and in many ways is a better option to pick compared to using Vorpal. Pretty much an amazing combo for PvE and generally anything endgame content wise. So overall, is this bow worth getting? Yes. This is one of the best bows I have right now, and although it has a relatively small perk pool, quite a few of the perks aren't that bad even if it's not the best combo you wanted. As long as you don't mind the draw time and the pain and suffering of doing Iron Banner, you should get this as soon as possible before Iron Banner goes for the given season. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub bar here. It was great sharing today's video with you all. And I hope to see you again soon.